Jones, I'm Teacher Tina, and I'm so glad that you're here. Hi, I'm Teacher Jill, and this is my new puppet for today. Her name is Twinkle. Welcome to another episode of Kids Live. Last week you were with Teacher Truthy, Teacher Nicole, and Colby. Now you're here with us, and we're very excited. Right, Teacher Jill? Yes, we are, right, Twinkle? Yes. Are you all ready, kids? Then let's start. Last week, we learned all about building the house of God. It's just like building a brick house or maybe a Lego house. You put one Lego on top of another or maybe beside each other. And they're just very important pieces to keep the whole house together, right? In God's house, there are four important Lego pieces. First one is letter L. We studied letter L last week. It means loving God. Remember? For this week, we are going to learn about... Do you know what letter this is? Yes! Do you have a guess? Do you know? It's letter I. It's for imitating Christ. Can you say it with me? Imitating Christ. Good job, little ones. So now let's all prepare our hearts and our minds for the Kids Life episode through a praise and worship song. Are you ready, guys? For our praise and worship for today, he will be joined by a friend. Can you guess who it is? Do you have any guess? Well, it's actually Mr. Blue, my guitar. So Mr. Blue will be helping us to do the song today. So the song is called Jesus Loves the Little Ones. And this is how you play it. second part of this song will be changing me to you because Jesus loves everyone, right? Okay, so let's sing it one more time but change me to you, okay? lines in a slower tempo yes okay little ones like you saves them through and through jesus loves the little ones like you 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 you're so good in singing thank you mr blue for accompanying us you did great little ones Time for our memory verse. So, where do we get our memory verses? Do you know? Do you know where we get our memory verses? The Bible. You're right. We don't just get it from anywhere or any book. We get it from the Bible, right? The Word of God. So, for our memory verse for today, it's found in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. One more time, a bit slower. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Follow 
my example as I follow the example of Christ. Can you do it a bit faster now? Yes, just a bit faster so that you can do it by yourself. Okay, so first Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. Can you do it by yourself now? I will listen. Good! Nice job, little one! But now it's time for us to listen to Teacher Tina's Bible point for the day. Are you ready? Listen carefully now. Hi little ones, today's Bible point is God made us so we can be like Jesus. Now kids, look at your dad or your tata. Does he love you? Yes, of course he does. He loves you very much. Your dad shows he loves you in many ways. He works hard to give you a home. He gives you food to eat. He gives you clothes to wear. It even gives you toys, right? Or maybe sometimes a special treat to eat. Uh, what else does he do? He spends time with you. He gives you hugs. And even if there's COVID-19, he makes sure that you're safe and healthy and protected. That's love, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. And you know what? God is your dad too. He's also your tata. Now I have a question for you, all right? Does God love you? Yes, yes, of course he does. He loves you very, very much. He, how does God show you he loves you? God shows you he loves you in many ways. He made this whole world perfect for us to live in, with flowers to smell and the green grass to feel and, and the beautiful beaches and the mountains, all for us to live in. He gave you a family that loves you. Do you love your family? Of course you do. And that's a gift from God. Uh, he made our wonderful bodies to play and to sing, or like teacher Jill, to playing her guitar, right? And what about your fingers and toes? God made every one of them. Right? And even if there's COVID-19, God continues to protect you and your family. Isn't it amazing? He is so good to us. Now, maybe you don't have your dad with you. Maybe he's abroad, or maybe different reasons. But you know what? There are many kids who are like that too. They're not alone. And we hope and pray that you remember that God is your dad. And you are his child. And he loves you very much. He will always be there to take care of you and protect you. We can thank God for being our loving father and we can show our love by obeying him. Right? Just like we show our love to mommy and daddy by obeying them. We do the same for God. And do you know who else loved and obeyed God? His son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ knew that God was his father and he was his child. So he loved God with his whole heart and mind and his strength. So like we said earlier, imitating Christ is an important part of building the house of God. Right? So to imitate means to copy. Right? So imagine if Teacher Tina was copied, there would be five Teacher Tinas, right? That's what copy means. We're going to imitate, we're going to be like him. So Jesus Christ was very loving. So we can be like him and be very loving too. Jesus Christ was very prayerful. So we can copy or be like him by being prayerful. But how else can we imitate Jesus? Let's think. Um, we can pray like Jesus, right? We can listen and do what the Bible says. Um, we can tell people about God. What else can we do? Could we use our guitar skills like Teacher Jill to serve God? Yes, we could. But what if you're not good at the guitar like Teacher Tina? You could do other things to serve God. So think, what are you good at and how can you help serve God? Okay? Or maybe you see somebody who needs food or is sick. 
And if you help them, is that loving God? Yes. Yes, it is. So remember our Bible point. Remember our Bible point, little ones. God made us so we can be like Jesus. Jesus is God's child, just like you and me. He was a good example of what it looks like to have God as our Father, and we should learn to be, learn to be like Him. We know this is true because what He said in the Bible. Do you still remember your memory verse? Let's do it again together, one more time. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. Excellent. Good job, everyone. I want you to practice that. Good job. Wow, is it really time to say goodbye? Hmm. Well, time really flies so fast when you're having fun, right? Right. It sure does. And don't worry, Twinkle and little ones. We'll have another episode of Kids Life next Saturday. And you'll be with me again, as, as well as with our other teacher, Teacher Kim, and a new puppet friend. I can't wait to meet him. Okay? Now, before we go, let's pray. So let's fold our hands and bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for our lesson. Lord, help us to imitate you and to be like your son, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. We'll see you next Saturday for our next Kids Life episode. We hope to see you there. Goodbye. God bless you.